Okay, so I make birdhouses and dollhouses, mainly birdhouses for friends and family and neighbors. This is actually my neighbor's house. Um, and a lot of times people will ask me when they get one, like, how'd you make the roof? And um, I just thought I'd make a quick video about sort of how I make the individual shingles for the roof. So uh, it does take a little while, maybe like two, three hours to do this. This roof here is probably like 500 to 700 shingles. So that probably takes about three hours to make. But um, the way I do it, uh, I've, I've bought in the past, I've bought in the past, you know, like the sheets and the rolls of shingles off Amazon. And um, they're, they're horrible. So uh, also the thing is, if you're making a birdhouse, like up here in upstate New York, we get a lot of winters and snow and stuff. And uh, if you buy the rolls and you put them outside in like one winter, they're, they're such garbage that they'll just they'll just be destroyed. So what I like to do is, I'll, um, in this case, my neighbor actually gave me three of his old shingles, but I, I might like buy a pack. I got a couple packs lying around, so they only like come in four colors. So what you do is you just, you, you rip the tongue off, um, cause this, this is useless. And basically what you want is you want the area that doesn't have any schmutz or any tar or any stuff like that on it. Um, you flip it over. I also get rid of this piece of plastic because this, if you're gonna glue or, or nail the shingles, it gets in the way. Um, the reason why you don't want any tar underneath is that, you know, in a dollhouse or a birdhouse, you really can't have anything pushing up. So all the shingles you make need to be just, you know, normal tar paper on the back and, and the shingle on the front. Okay, so the next is I gotta cut long strips. So I'll get a piece of flooring. This is obviously short for the example, but I get like a piece of flooring that's 36 inches. I use hardwood flooring because it doesn't get cut up when I use my little Harbor Freight razor blade. So for example, just to, like to show you what I'm talking about, is I put it up there, run it a couple times, and do this on the back. If you do it on the front, it's gonna dull your knife like immediately. Um, okay, so just for example's sake, I got now a basic strip. This is like three quarter inch flooring. So this is a three quarter inch strip. Um, and then what I would do is on the back again, you want to mark it off every two inches. Um, and I do two inches because this is an 18 to one. So it means 18 inches equals one inch on this house. Cause this guy's house is 34 feet by 30 feet. So it gives you like a two by, I don't know, like, like one, one foot, nine inch house. Okay. So every two inches I use like a little Crayola crayon. It doesn't really matter the color, just something that'll show up. And I just go two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches, 10 inches, all the way down. Uh, you get 20 of these out of every single sheet. So maybe you do like 20 of these lines all the way down. You got 400 shingles. You already got yourself half a house. Okay, so the next thing and the most important thing is this right here. This is called a pattern punch. I got this on eBay because the ones that are on Amazon are pieces of trash. Um, and the thing is, is like, it, you know, you need a little bit of arm strength. I got a bunch of them because they sometimes come in different depths. But the cool thing about this is that it's exactly 0.67 inches. So two thirds of an inch. So if you figure I got a two inch shingle and each single, you got three shingles per sheet you're gonna basically have every 0.6 inches you wanna put a hash mark. So what I do is I take the pattern punch, I put this right up to the shoulders of the pattern punch, and I just snap it, all right? And I do that every two inches, approximately. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look good. Okay, so there, and there, and there. Okay, so now this is a shingle, this is a shingle, this is a shingle. This is gonna be a set of three, obviously. So in the middle, like every, you know, two thirds of an inch, you put two more. That way, what you have is, is you, between every single two inch line, you're gonna put two more of these hash marks, okay? And then just use a pair of metal shears. And what you wanna do is, that's gonna be for the roof, the other area of the roof, is just cut it so that in between you got two little marks and then on each end you got a mark and a mark. The reason why you do that is that when you turn up different colors you'll have that mark so it looks like you've just done a mark every single you know 0.67 inches. And the thing is I've realized is like you, if you got like a red roof 
you got to put some black in there. You got to put a little bit of like lighter colored shingle in there. Otherwise, if you're putting it 10 feet up in the air, you're never going to know. And it just looks like one mass. But if you do it sort of contrasted, people can tell that actually it looks really good and the detail comes out just perfect. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. Um, so that's how I make my shingles. All right. Thank you. Goodbye.